If you're one of those people that has been designing their portfolio for like years and keeps redesigning it, doesn't get it done, starts building it, gets over it, basically that creative process where you just start hating everything after a while. If you're one of those people, this video could be for you. Um, it's basically how I got past that exact thing and what I did, some design choices that I made for my own portfolio that helped me actually ship it, get it out there and continue updating it uh, since then. So this is what my portfolio looks like. Um, as you can see, it's pretty minimal. Uh, it's at the moment, it's like uh, kind of an ivory color. So black and white, but not quite white and not quite black. These are just uh, the main sections when you go into work. Um, it's the same color palette, but inverted. And it's very simple. So it's very typographic forward. Um, and the pages that are, have the most kind of like graphics and images to them and the most, uh, most visually stimulating are the actual work pages where the work essentially um, is highlighted and the visuals come through here. Okay, so that was one example. This is another example. Uh, they kind of all follow very much the same layout and idea. Some of them are more text-based. So this is product management role. Some of them are more text focused and then some of them are more visual. For example, like this one um, is more visual uh, and has some progress imagery, some videos, uh, some process, and then kind of like a snapshot of the project itself. Um, so it's not like the most incredible photo you've ever seen. Um, there's also, this is the about page. Uh, it's got like some really nice transitions in between. Um, and as you can see, it's basically very typography forward. And that is how I got it done. Um, so initially when I was designing it, I was trying to make it look, you know, there's a lot of design trends happening all the time and they change. And sometimes you get attached to something that's like, wow, this design trend is really beautiful and I want my portfolio to look like that. I want to be, you know, on the edge of uh, what's happening. The problem that happened for me was that I would start doing that, designing it, like making it look visually amazing. And then it would take me so long to get past that, that by the time I was like actually building it, that design trend was potentially a bit old and I would start hating it. And I would start thinking like, this is actually terrible. Like this is kind of like not even cool anymore. And that cycle kept happening. So eventually what I decided to do was to choose a really great font to keep it typographic as, mu as much as possible and just use typography, not a lot of color. Initially, there were a few, a few colors on here um, and I actually stripped that back again because what gets weird is when you have the work and the work, obviously I, I make websites and so the, those kinds of colors are all different depending on which uh, job it is. And so I couldn't make the colors of my own portfolio work with the, that. So going with a very minimal palette like this meant that I could make that work shine and I didn't have to think about you know, what those pages would look like and how weird they would look. I used Webflow to create my portfolio. Um, it's a really great tool because you can, you can create your own CMSs. And what's great about that with your own portfolio is that when you need to update something or when you need to add new work, you don't have to then think about the design again. Um, so obviously with many site builders, you know, that's also possible. So if you're using something like Format or Squarespace, it's also the same ease, but with Webflow, you get to kind of design a little bit more. You get to be more unique with what your portfolio looks like and kind of uh, design and manage it yourself. So this is a quick look at what my, the CMS looks like for my, uh, some of my work. Um, if I go into a project, you can see like I can basically just go and add a new project and add all of this information in. The structure for each work page is the same. There isn't anything that I'm adding that's unique every time. And so this is like super easy for me to update. Initially, I had, when I had colors for my portfolio before, I, because it wasn't working on those pages, because now this website has its own color palette, was clashing with my color palette. So I initially actually started customizing the work pages to have their own color palette. So these properties here are actually old. I don't use these anymore because I wanted to just strip it back and keep the palette minimal. So my advice in a nutshell, number one, 
using a minimal color palette within the black and white range. Number two, uh, keeping it typographic. So choosing a great font and making it very typographic unless you're using showing the work where the visuals can shine and come through. And number three, using a tool like Webflow or Framer where you can build a CMS around it so that managing and updating it going forward keeps it very simple and you don't have to overthink the design every time. If you have any questions, please comment below and thank you so much for watching.